Okay, right. we're looking at the ThinkPad X1 tablet. It's a new device here. It looks really, really good. You're looking at a 12-inch Full HD+, Plus, which is a basically a 2160 by 1440 resolution for the display. That's supposed to be because it's got a 3.2 display. So for you guys in business who like using uh, things a little bit more taller than wide, uh, which I actually do, it makes more sense as a... Uh, tablet for writing, you're going to want this device here. Uh, the tablet itself weighs 1.75 pounds. That is very light. You're heading into that same category basically as the Surface Book when you remove its top display. Um, this runs an Intel Core uh, M processor as a new Skylake. Now for you guys, I know some people cringe at the Core M stuff, but if you haven't tried the Skylake Core M, it's actually a, a different world. It's a much, much better device. The uh, Surface, of course, uses that as well on a low-end version, but you're getting a full PC on board here plus fanless design and it's totally it's way better than the atom processor so let's just say that uh, overall great design here you can get up to 16 gigs of storage I mean this is basically a full ThinkPad uh, X1 design so you're getting all the specs there including up to a one terabyte PCIe and NVMe SSD on board uh, but what makes it neat of course you do get the stylus here, so you can basically use it for taking notes, use the write it software. And because of that aspect ratio, I think it works really good uh, as a tablet holding it this way, uh, and taking note and using it as more traditional notepad. I'm a big fan of that. The resolution at 12 inch actually feels about the right size too as a traditional piece of paper. Uh, the other cool thing that they got here though, are of course these modules. So these are, they attach physically to device, I meaning you put them in there and they lock in. Uh, it goes actually in that way or sorry, it goes that way and you get the thing on the back. But this one, uh, they have three different types. This one here is the camera. So this is actually an Intel RealSense camera. So you can plug it in there and it's going to be mostly for people who do, uh, you know, types of things where they need to scan things with 3D objects and they can do that. Of course, if you're going to use Windows Hello, I suppose you can actually do that technically as well. But that's not its primary function. This is functional for people who actually need it. There is also one here for productivity. Coming around to the side here, of course, you got an extra USB port, which is really good. HDMI and then the one link and of course this is a battery as well so this adds about an extra five hours of battery time to the device itself uh, so nice performance plus you get that extra benefit of being a nice grip so we want to hold it I'm a big fan of how uh, Lenovo has always done that it makes really using a tablet just much more sense you can see this device coming out in February starting price is $899 remember this is a full PC there's also a keyboard option we don't have here right now but it attaches physically to the device so of course, you can use it as a keyboard. And of course, oh wait, there's one more thing here, which is on the back. You can basically hit this little switch, and now you got a full kickstand that comes out, and it's fully adjustable at any angle, and you can use it as a traditional tablet on your desk. Attach that keyboard, and you're all set. So there you go, the ThinkPad X1 tablet. Head to Windows Central for more information. Take care, everybody.